and stuff. It, it was, it was kind of like the Al Capone days mm -hmm. and stuff where it wasn't, a, wasn't a whole lot of shooting and killing. They were cut you. Mm -hmm. It was a lot of that. Mm -hmm. But like it is today, I mean, everybody shoots you. Mm -hmm. And stuff like that, you know, the teenagers shoot you just as quick. And even the cops. Yeah. <laughs> and the police would, every time somebody get cut down there, if you didn't get out of the way, everybody went to jail. They had the thing called Black Annie. Very big old uh, van that, you know, they, they'd haul you up in there, rode you around all day until they got it full, and then they took it to the jail out. Mm. Mm. Black Annie, that's what they called the truck. Yeah, Black Annie. Mm -hmm. hmm. And was the pier out here? Uh, the uh, pier was here. Same pier, same location. And stuff, because you had to walk around here to get to the pier. You had to walk around the white folks to get to the pier, let's say that. Mm -hmm. and, the, and the black folks didn't fish on that field much. Mm -hmm. It was mostly for uh, white folks. Up until about, I guess, the early 60s when you got a lot of black folks that would, you know, would come out of here and fish. Mm -hmm. But uh, it was mostly a white pier. Now, what was the transition like from being from it being two different beaches to segregation? What happened in that time period? Well, uh, it kind of it kind of just changed on its own because the the black folks started just walking on through there. They had a they had a fence down through there, so they tore that down, and then then they started where they would just walk right on over there and walk across the beach. But as soon as if the police come, you better leave mm -hmm. because you're going to jail. But then it got more so. The younger, younger people got more so where they would, they would go on and just walk down the whole whole strip, about four or five people, just you know, just be aggravating, and come back and say, well, you know, this, this all this all this is water, ain't no black water, no white water, and uh, then it just it just gradually, just 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 went, you know, for a mixed thing. After the assassination of Martin Luther King, that's uh, when things start changing. No, they changed a little bit before then. Martin Luther King was, uh, it didn't have a whole lot to do with this. I don't even think that when Martin Luther King was in, I think the beaches had already been, been, been kind of segregated. It wasn't, I mean, integrated. But I don't think, um, I don't think that had nothing to do with it. Mm -hmm. Were you one of the people who walked all the way down to the end of the beach? Well, I, 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 you want to get me into it. Like that. But they I, can't I, come I, and get I, you now. We got a black I, president. I was, uh, I was in it. <laughs> you know, I was in it. We used to go over there to Woodworth, you know, and they tell you you couldn't sit at the counter to eat and stuff like this. And what we used to do is that we'd go down to all that stuff, and by the time uh, they come and caught us, we didn't eat a half the hamburger, half the hot dog, and we tell them we didn't want it and stuff. So and then we go to another place and do the same thing. And then when they eat all the food, we want and stuff like that. See, and they they caught on to that though and start putting us in jail for that. But it, it was it was actually fun, you know. Uh huh. I mean, it wasn't nothing that uh, you know, you you just couldn't put up with. But you, when you came down here, you knew what you were gonna do. You knew you was going over the white side. Okay. Stuff and all your boys and stuff. I was about in high school then. I was probably about eighth and ninth grade. And they had the guy that was in school, you know, you get down there, you get yourself together. And then you go on through the hole in the fence and walk on down through there. When you saw the police coming, then you took off the running. I mean, you got along, they didn't catch you over there, they won't put you in jail. But it, it, it was fun. Mm -hmm. Wasn't, wasn't, uh, Life-threatening? No, it was, no. The only, the only people, only thing is, was you had to get yourself out of jail. When they put you in there, they kept you in jail all day. Stuff cost you about five dollars to get out. <laughs> mm. yeah. <laughs> but you spent all day in jail. Mm. Mm. So, so tell me what you think about um, the beach, just in general. I mean, you're here today and you're visiting the beach. Oh, I just come down to relax. Mm -hmm. And um, well, this is this is new. It, this is just opened up, uh, I guess it was right after Labor Day. The pier? Yeah, the pier. Mm -hmm. the, the hurricane threw the other one down. No, oh, okay. And um, and we just come down and watch people fish. Kind of relaxed, took a nap and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I got old now, so I mean, I can't do much more. <laughs> so I can't run down to one side to the other. When you come here, do you have lots of memories of 
the many different changes that the beach has gone through its well, history. You know, you you you, you kind of go back, and 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 it's and it's kind of kind of enjoyable. Mm -hmm. You remember the things you used to do, mm -hmm. and then you laugh about that, and kind of look out there and see crowds that over there. See, so that that was uh, all white folks. You couldn't get over. You couldn't go over there unless you went to jail. And stuff. But now you can go all over the place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it don't like I said it. I don't have I don't have no hate. Or nothing. I kind of have fun memories. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. kinda, I mean, I just uh, if, I, if I could do it again, I'd probably do it again. You know, <laughs> and stuff. Everybody had a little devil in them, you know. <laughs> and I guess we had a little bit more devil than most of them. But this was uh this this is where you wanted to go. And now the black people that came from all over the place to come here to Bayshore Beach was it something about the water that drew them or was it just this was a hot spot it, it was it was it was known mm -hmm. it's just like uh corner island new york uh, uh well virginia beach wasn't quite as known as this this uh hmm. buck run bay show really yeah but virginia beach actually really got popular probably about in the middle 60s or the late 60s okay. when he started building up it always was a beach there but the hotels and stuff wasn't there, but just a beach that you just walked down and went on there and swim there. And as a matter of fact, they had what, what they call uh, Sea View and, and Virginia Beach. Sea View, sea View over there was, uh, was the black beach, and uh, Virginia Beach was the white beach. Oh, okay. And, and then, they, then when, when they, I guess, Sea, uh, sea View kind of went out because of the, I guess, of the, the hurricanes and stuff. And, and mostly the black folks, they had all these uh, stands and stuff where the hurricanes tore them down. They got them I and then they had money to build it back up. So everybody started going to Virginia Beach. Mm. And then Virginia Beach got popular like, like you know, like Merle Beach and all that stuff. Mm. But Virginia Beach wasn't always like that. This was the, this was the popular spot. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. That's good to know. I didn't know yeah. that myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you knew more about Buckrow and, and, and Bay Show than you did Virginia Beach. But Anything else better. you can think of that um, I didn't ask you about? Just as you sort through your memories and think of Buck, Bay Shore Beach and Buckrow and... Well, I mean, you you know, when you were growing up, you you had things that you liked to do and things that your parents didn't want you to do. <laughs> it was kind of like that, you know. You knew you were going to get in trouble as soon as you went. Mm. And, but that's where you wanted to go, because I mean that was the that's what the where the, where the fun was. But uh, the, these days you can't do that because uh, these young people they they done they done gone crazy. They they shoot you, and the drug thing wasn't 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 nothing like it is now. You just drink liquor, fell out, got up, and drank some more liquor. <laughs> <laughs> but that was I mean wasn't 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 nothing like it is now. Mm -hmm. Didn't know nothing about no crack and uh, uh, cocaine and you know it wasn't you 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 would hear it but it wasn't it wasn't nothing that that was, that was done every day. Mm -hmm. Even wasn't, marijuana. Marijuana, you 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 would hear that too. Mm -hmm. And uh, and the, the, the only thing when it started, it was more so marijuana and uh, and heroin. Mm -hmm. Heroin was probably the the most dangerous drug you could use probably still is. Mm -hmm. But uh, wasn't, wasn't a whole lot of that stuff ran in. Mm -hmm. and then they finally just started taking over everywhere. I mean, you can find that stuff everywhere now. Don't okay, care what neighborhood you live in. And the, and the young folks, is, I mean, they they making money off of that, selling that, where well, they don't even have to work. They making, I mean, that's how much money they're making off of it. Mm -hmm. And they're killing each other for it because you're in their territory. Like I said, 